Hello, I'm Christian from Action Drone. Um, I'm just going to show you today how to go through and change on your Tyrannus radio your uh, splash screen and um, icon picture in the centre here. So you can have it as mine as you. So rude. So you can have your Action Drone splash screen and a AD1 uh, picture in the bottom of your radio. Alright, so first thing you need to do is go to um, an internet browser, um, find a program called Companion 9X. Um, it's generally under, we go into Safari um, or Firefox, whatever you use. Um, download either Mac, obviously, if you're running Mac, Windows, uh, the install thing. Um, EXE programs, they'll automatically load up, put it on your desktop as part of your applications. Um, once that's loaded up, um, you'll get an icon, same as this one here. Now when you open that, uh, there's a lot of menus along the top here. The ones that we're concerned with today is having um, the Preferences logo mm. here. So what we want to do first is, with the radio off and sticks down, or the throttle down, we want to plug in our USB into the back. Then we want to go over to settings. Now mine's all been preloaded here, but I'll just run through it quickly with you. This is the item here that we want to look for. So when we go through here and open our um, images, your library will have different things on there. It'll probably have nothing if it's the first time you've used this. Um, when you download the icons here from either Action Drone USA or Action Drone AUS, um, load them onto your desktop. So when you come here, they're ready to go. Just makes it easier to find them. And when you go into Open Image, you'll go through onto your desktop and look for AD Tyrannus, AD Front, and AD One. Got two options there. Whether the AD1's flying to you or away from you. Alright, so I'll just cancel that. I've already got it here going. So once you bring it up there, the bitmap image will come up here as a as a picture. The next thing we want to do is, is go down to firmware here and make sure you're clicked on open TX for Free Sky Tyrannus. There's other options there. We want to make sure we're on the Free Sky because we're using the Free Sky radio. Um, everything else we can leave there. We don't need to touch anything. If you don't have um, buttons here, if you just normally click one of them and click it back, you'll find the screen becomes active, I've found. Alright, so we've got our splash screen logo in here. Click OK. Then we want to go to Burn. So this will actually write this onto the Tyrannus. We can invert colours here if you want to as well. So I'm just going to have mine with a, a lighter background. Then we click Burn to TX. And we just wait for that to flash the TX. Alright, so when that's done, we obviously we disconnect it, turn it on. We should then get our Action Drone uh, splash screen. Okay, so it says there it has finished correctly. Okay, so we'll just detach it here. Then when we turn it on, welcome to Toronto's. We have our logo. Okay. Next thing we want to do is load either one of the two BMP icons there. What we need to do for this is to have stick center, slider center, and we need to have the unit on. Welcome to Toronto's. Then we plug her in. Uh, you can get rid of the uh, Companion 9X now. When, you, when that's plugged in, you'll come up, there'll be two folders. Um, 
don't play with anything with Tyrannus. We want to un we want to open the Untitled. You'll see there a BMP file. We just simply click and drag our picture into the BMP file. It says it's already there, so yeah, I'll replace it. All right, that's as much as we need to do as far as the uh, BMP picture is concerned. So we can unplug Untitled and Tyrannus. Okay, now when we turn our radio back on, let's get rid of this. GPS mode. We now have, we now go into our menu. When you first go into page two of thirteen of your model setup, what we want to do is go down to model image, quick press enter. Now you'll have a menu there like anything else. You'll have AD front or AD rear, V2 in this case, it will be called AB front, AD rear. Let me just click on that, exit, exit, and there we have picture of our AD1.